You wipe down, you know, the light switches and sinks and door handles. For 10 years, Bobby has been taking care of healthcare workers, patients, and their families. But it's not just about making the room safe. How I see the patients, you try to get them in a good mood because you can tell when they're down, you know, and you know, just kind of tell them, you know, things to get better. COVID-19 has created a new normal filled with caution and uncertainty. Now we have to wear PPE, make sure we have everything in our goggles, mask and our gowns and our gloves and before we go into these patient rooms. We have to clean a lot more. We clean the walls and the ceilings. We took down all our curtains. And until we know more about this virus or find a specific treatment, I have a little bit, but that's you know, not too bad. I just kind of fear about taking it home with me. I don't want my family to get it with me. That's what my biggest fear. I have clothes outside. I just change and I come in. I come in, take a shower, then I change again because you know, because you don't know what's on your on your arms. But Bobby says she puts her fear aside. I just like to take care of people and to see them get better and be able to go back home and enjoy their life. The most difficult days are similar to those of her colleagues. When somebody passes, especially little ones, you know, we have little ones up here too, and they pass, and that's a hard day. But she finds strength in doing what she loves. Cleaning takes everything away from me, you know, if I keep myself occupied or reading a book or watching a little bit of TV. This frontline worker says being called a hero makes her feel good because she's helping others get better.